Welcome to Amazing Facts for Kids. Please subscribe to my channel to discover and learn interesting facts. Hello my little friends. You all would have heard about the term gravity. It is the force due to which everything comes back to earth. Is there any contradiction to this? Today, we are going to learn about a technology that counteracts the effects of gravitational acceleration. It is magnetic levitation. So, let's start. To understand magnetic levitation, we need to know about magnets. Magnet is an object that attracts metals over a distance. But they do not attract all types of materials or metals. They can only pull metals like iron, nickel, etc. The force of magnets is called magnetism. All magnets have two ends, a north pole and a south pole. Magnets create magnetic field. The magnetic force in a magnet flows from north pole to south pole, which creates a magnetic field around a magnet. In other words, a magnet attracts or repels other magnet or metal through magnetic field. Magnetic fields are invisible to human eye. The north pole of one magnet pulls or attracts to the south pole of other magnet. On the other hand, north pole of one magnet pushes or repels the north pole of other magnet. That means opposite or unlike poles of magnets attract whereas light poles repel each other. If we cut a bar magnet in half, we get two small magnets each with its own north and south pole. Now we will talk about magnetic levitation. It is a process through which an object is levitated or raised and floated in the air in a stable position defying gravity without any support other than the magnetic field. In this process, the electromagnetic force is used to counter gravity. Electromagnets have magnetic properties only when electricity flows through them. Magnetic levitation is used in maglev trains, magnetic bearings, levitation melting, flywheels and even in household fixtures and decorations. So kids, this was an overview about magnets and magnetic levitation. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Bye bye.